Hi, thanks for joining me again, and today we're talking about tripods, my tripod specifically. Um, this is my Benro. Um, I've put it back in the bag. I don't normally carry it around in the bag, um, but uh, I'm going to take it out and see what I can do to improve things with it. Um, there's certain aspects of it that, uh, that need improving, and uh, things that I do use, and things that I need to put on there that I will be using. So uh, let's take a look at, uh, at this Benro tripod. All right, so this is, um, this is the tripod I use for landscape work. And uh, in the bag are all sorts of extra bits that I've decided that I might use. So I'm going to take those out and get rid of the bag. Don't really use the bag. Uh, if anything, I might use it just to uh, store the tripod in the boot of the car. But that's it. Um, it's nice, uh, nice addition to the uh, to the tripod, though. So uh, what is on the tripod? Well, it's a TMA 38CL Mac 3. It's uh, carbon fiber, uh, twist lock uh, legs, rubber feet, and I've got on it a. Uh, a Benro B3 ball head uh, with an Arca Swiss uh, adapter plate. So what it's got on at the moment, which I think I'm going to try uh, and get rid of and use something different, are the rubber feet. And it's got a centre column, which I very rarely use. And in fact, this tripod goes up quite high enough for me uh, just using the three legs. Uh, without the centre column. So I'm going to get rid of the centre column uh, just to reduce the weight a bit. And I've got a few extra bits to put on the uh, bull head. So I'm going to take a look at that a little bit later on. So what I'm going to do first is get rid of the centre column and we'll take it from there. So at the moment uh, we've got the screw in hook at the bottom. So I need to remove that to take out the centre column. And then I'm going to take off the ball head first. And release the centre lock for the centre column. And that should just pull out. So that bit there is surplus to requirement. I think that plate might come off. It might not. I'm not sure. No, I don't think so. Right, so I'll put that to one side. And in this bag, should be a shortened centre column, which will enable me to put the tripod, uh, the ball head back on. So that's it. So we're swapping that for that. It's carbon fibre, it doesn't really weigh very much, but I don't use it, and even then, um, it's either adding weight or it's just not stable enough. So I'm not going to, to use that anymore. I'm just going to change the centre column for this. So that slides back in, lining up the uh, the slot with the head. That's it, that goes on there. And then this part that we took off the bottom can be screwed back in, I think. Oh no, it actually doesn't. So that bit stays with the extended centre column. So I'm losing the hook to hang the bag from. Um, I don't really use that anyway because with windy conditions it can destabilize the tripod a bit. So I'm not going to use that, I'm just going to keep that all together as one, one piece and I'll put that back in the bag. So that'll be probably in the car with me um, if I ever need it in the bag. Get rid of that. So that is the new um, centre column. So there's no hook or anything, no screw thread on the bottom. That just slit, sits in there and I'll just tighten up the, the grip for the centre column. So that's that done. Now the next job is to look at the ball head. So one of the problems that I find with the, with the tripod is when you're doing panoramas. And the issue is, is that if the tripod isn't level, you have to spend a lot of time adjusting each leg to get the tripod level. And then there's a little 
spirit level there. So you can use that to level the tripod, but it's very difficult. So if the tripod, I'm going to exaggerate it here, if the tripod is like this and you level the head like that, by the time you do a panorama and rotate the camera, say, what's that, 180 degrees-ish, the head, the lens is pointing completely off the horizon or wherever you're, you're aiming it. So there's got to be a simpler solution than spending ages trying to adjust each leg to get the tripod head level. So I found this. This is um, a tripod leveling head. So this one is a Benro. Uh, I bought this one to, to go with all the, the rest of the stuff on the tripod. So it's an LBA one. So that sits between the tripod and the ball head. And this itself has got a spirit level on it. So let's take a look at this. So I'll unscrew the ball head again. Try not to drop it this time. So this sits on there. Like that. And then the ball head screws on top of that. Like that. So now you don't have to worry about completely leveling the tripod very accurately at all. Now you just loosen this lock here and you just move the entire ball head until that is level. Which is great, except there's one major problem with it and that is that the level, the spirit level on the leveling head is there. So when you put the it's just there. So when you put the ball head on it, you can't actually see it. So that's a bit of a flaw to the system. So I went online, did a bit of research, and I found a spirit level made by Field Optics, which is this. So I think this is possibly designed for um, gun sights or uh, binoculars or telescopes that kind of thing so uh, I'll put a link down below um, but basically what I've done is chosen to put that on there and then screw the ball head on top so I now have a spirit level which is outside of the base of the ball head which means that when the tripod is on the ground, no matter what the legs are doing, you can, in in terms of uh, how it's positioned, whether it's completely um, horizontal or not, this ball head enables you to use the leveling base to position the ball head so that provided the ball head is level, when you do the panorama it will always be level to the horizon so it's just a much more rapid and a quick way quicker way of leveling the tripod for a panorama so that's my new head setup so I've taken away the center column I've put the tripod leveling base in so that's the Benro LBA1 and then the field optics uh, spirit level and then the Benro B3 ball head on top. So again, that's, although it's removed the center column, that's extended the head quite a lot. So again, I've added a little bit of height on there, but it's something that I don't really need. So that's the, uh, that's the top of the tripod. The bottom of the tripod, I need the bag of accessories for, which came with it. So rubber feet, um, their general purpose, uh, good for studio work and good for kind of general outdoor conditions but um, I think the kind of photography that I do where I do use a tripod 
I'm quite likely to be on soft ground, on grass, on mud, anything like that. So I've decided to fit the spikes, uh, which came in the little bag. So the rubber feet are gonna go. So I think it's just a case of unscrewing those. Like that, and replacing them with the spikes. Quite a simple process, really. So there are the spikes, there are the rubber feet. So this should enable the the tripod legs to bed themselves through grass into something a bit more firm uh, to stabilize the tripod in soft ground. I'm hoping that's the case anyway. We'll give it a go. But it became quite apparent to me fairly recently on one of my last uh, trips to do some photography that the tripod wasn't very stable because it was on muddy ground or, or grassy, thick grassy ground. So just tighten these up with the included spanner, not too tight. There we go. So that's it. So that's it. That's the new version of my tripod. So I've got spiked feet, no centre column, tripod levelling base, a field optics uh, spirit level, and the B3 ball head back on top. So there we go, that's it. That's the tripod setup I'll be using from now on. And um, let's see how it goes. Let me know what uh, what you think, what kind of tripod setup you use. And I'm particularly curious to see what you think about the tripod leveling uh, base on the uh, on the top, uh, to see if anyone else using, uses one. I've only come across it fairly recently, so uh, it'll be an interesting uh, addition to see how much easier it is to set up a panoramic shot. So anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again on the next one. Bye for now.